guys, today I'm going to be doing a tag video that I got tagged in by Jen Chapman a little while back, I don't remember how long ago, but this is the 50-50 tag, so basically what this is is that you do half side of your face with makeup and half side you leave alone, and then I've seen some people that draw a line down their face, I'm down the middle, and then go from there. I'm actually not going to draw a line, and I know Jen didn't either, but I am going to continue my day, so after I do this I'm going to film some more videos, so I figure I might as well just do my full face of makeup after I get done with this, but um, so I'm going to do this side of my face with makeup since it's easier for you guys to see because I have my mirror sitting over here, and then this side will not have makeup on, so I'm going to go ahead and get started, and this is pretty much going to be what I would do for a typical everyday face routine and makeup routine basically. This is what I do most days. The eyeshadow might be a little bit different but everything else is pretty much the same. I've already primed my face. I use the L'Oreal Pore Vanisher, whatever it is. I'm trying to use it up. It's not super great um, but I just did that all over my face already and now I'm going to go in with my Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place makeup and run that over this side of my face. It is getting down to the end so I should probably tip it upside down so that it actually comes out a little faster. <laughs> This is going to be interesting trying to make sure that I only get enough for half of my face and not my whole face because I normally do all of my foundation at once, you know, like normal people. Blend it into my neck, I guess. I'm going to go in with my um, Diva Beauty BO3 Angled Buffer Brush. I'm just going to rub all of that in. I would normally use a different one. This one I actually brought down for just doing blending in my cream contour, but... Whatever, it's fine. So I'm going to go in with a Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Under Eye Primer, and this is just a sample I got in a 500 point perk from Sephora. And run that under my eye before I move on. And actually, I always get too much of this, so I'm going to run it under my other eye too. <laughs> Ignore that, I just, you know, have too much of it and I don't want to waste it, so I'm going to do that there. Okay. This product, it doesn't really take that much, and I always forget that, and I take out a little bit too much. Just adds a little bit of extra hydration under my eye before I put on my under eye concealer. Then I've been going in with my CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ageless Eye Concealer. This was in 210. I think they may have discontinued this. I don't know. I've had it for a while, which is why I'm using it again, because I'm trying to use it up. But I really like the texture and consistency of this. I don't think you guys can really see it that well anymore, but it has, like, moisturizer and cover. Um, concealer swirled in together and I like the consistency of it a lot. Next thing I'm going to do is go in with my Benefit Oola Lift. I've had this for quite a while. I'm trying to use this up as well. So I just lay that underneath my under eyes and then blend it in in kind of a triangular motion. Next I'm going to go in and set that. This is the Sonia Kashuk Hidden, Hidden Agenda Concealer Palette. This one's in 7 and I'm just going to use my Real Techniques setting brush. And set that under my eyes. I'm just trying to use this one up. It's almost gone. Next I'm going to go in and conceal any of my blemishes. And this is like a signature A collection something foundation type thing that I use as concealer now because I'm trying to use it up. It is a little bit darker than my skin tone, but I blend it in well enough that it usually works. I've actually been doing kind of double duty with that recently, and I've been using this Hard Candy concealer pencil type thing in light pale. And if anything's still kind of showing, I just hit it with that. It's like cat hairs on my face, that's cool. And then I'm going to set all of that with this Urban Decay Razor Sharp Ultra Definition Setting Powder. I usually just make sure that that's blended in with a powder brush. So this is the Real Techniques. Oh no, it's fading off. Buffing brush. Next, I've been trying to use up this Sonia Kashuk um, Undetectable Cream Bronzer and Warm Tan. I'm trying to get into that. So when I have time, I've been trying to put this on first and then use my NARS Laguna Bronzer. So I'm just using the um, Diva Beauty 
angled buffer brush that I used to blend in my foundation. And putting that where I would normally contour. I bought the e.l.f. Um, what was it? The e.l.f. small stipple brush or something like that for this purpose because I'd heard people talk about that and rave about that and I decided I hated that for this because it like puts it on but then you can't blend it. So I'm using this instead. I need a denser brush because otherwise it doesn't work. Contour my nose slightly and then around my face the edges and things like that. And then I set that with my NARS Laguna bronzer that I have here. And I'm using my Sigma Large Angled Contour Brush for this. I don't know if this one is... If mine is just like, I've had it too long and it's caked over or something. But I feel like there's not a lot of color payoff for this. I might just... Somebody told me a trick where you just use scotch tape and lay it over if there's like a crusty part on the top. So I may have to do that and see if that's what's causing this to not feel like very good color payoff. Next I'm going with my Stila Convertible Color Dual Lip and Cheek Cream Trio, which I have been trying to use for the last several months. And it looks like a mess, but I'm going in with this color Lilium here. I'm just using this Real Techniques stippling brush. Putting that on my cheeks. And then I've been going in with my Real Techniques Multitasker brush, and I've been using Orgasm from NARS first. I've been layering that a lot with the Tarte Exposed blush. Then I'm going in with the Benefit What's Up highlighter. I'm just going to run that along my cheekbone. And then normally I go down my nose. I'm gonna keep this, but I know that's technically more than half my face, but whatever. Doing it anyway. And I just pat that in with my fingers. I've been setting that highlight with the nude color from my Lorac Pro palette. So I've just been going in with nude down here and setting that. Next, I'm gonna go in and prime my eyes. So I'm just using the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden and running that all over my lid and up to the brow bone. While that kind of dries a little bit, I'm going to go in with my YBF Your Best Friend Eyebrow Pencil. So I just brush out my brows first, and then I will add the pencil, fill in any sparseness. Here we are so far. Then I go in with my Anastasia Brow Gel in Auburn and just run that along the brow to make the hairs kind of set. Next I'm going to go in with my eye base. This is the Milani Shadow Eyes in Champagne Toast. I'm just going to start by putting that all over my lid. Now for eyeshadow, so I'm using my Lorac Pro because I'm working on panting. Panting. I'm working on panning this palette, so I'm going to start with... I'm just going to go for champagne. I'm just going to go for a simple look. So I'm going to use champagne and this Sigma E55 shading brush and put that all over my lids. Then I'm going to go in with Mauve here and this Sigma tapered blending brush, which is an E55. Nope, E35. And just run that in my crease. I'm just going to go in with Garnet here and run that in the outer crease, or in the outer corner, and into the crease a little bit. And I will darken it up just a touch with Espresso. Okay, I'm going to call that good for eyeshadow, except for my brow bone. For brow bone, I'm going to start by using this Milani Brow and Eye Highlighter inside Matte Cream. I'm just running that under my brow bone. Then I'm just going to layer cream from here on top of that. And then I'm just going to blend in my crease one more time with that same blending brush to 
kind of feather everything out. Okay, so that's where we are now. Half and half. Now I'm gonna go in with eyeliner. I'm gonna use the Urban Decay West Eyeliner, and this is just a brown. Run that on my upper lash line. Then I'm gonna go in and do the bottom lash line first. I'm gonna do the inner waterline with this scandalized pencil from Rimmel in Nude. And then I'm going to use my NYX Slide On Glide On Eye Pencil in Jewel on the rest of the lower lash line. Then I'm going to curl my eyelashes with my Tweezerman Eyelash Curler. Now we start with the first coat of the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express Mascara. And then I go in with the second coat of the Makeup Forever. This is the Smoky Extravagant. I kind of am not a huge fan of this mascara or this makeup brush, or this mascara brush, but whatever. That's where we are now. And then the last thing I do is lips. So I'm gonna go in first with this L'Oreal Paris Color Riche Lilac little pencil. This is really cute. I'm going to layer on a little of the Benefit Posey Balm, which is almost gone. It's for a little extra hydration, because this is a rather dry lip product. And the last thing I'm going to do is layer on this Urban Decay Lip Junkie in Naked. All right, so here is the 50-50 tag completed. So here's this half of my face. This is my typical everyday face, pretty much. Here's the side that is not done. So that is pretty much it. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face and then I'll come back. So, both sides of my face are done because I wanted to do both sides of my face. So, they are done. So, this anyway was a quick tag slash my typical everyday face type routine. Um, I will tag some people for this tag down below. I would love to see you guys do this. I'm curious about how it looks one side of your face that's done and one side that's not and kind of how you're you know, how you do your makeup and whatever. I don't know, I think it's kind of an interesting tag. It's interesting to see how different it looks like one half of your face done and one and the other half not. Um, I always think it's kind of funny to see like one eye done and one not, or like to look back at Get Ready With Me's and see how it looks from the beginning to the end. I don't know. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye. <laughs>